All right, guys, it's actually about a week later, and uh, I've been kind of mulling it over. I just, there was, either I tried to find, I can't even remember where I left off in the other one. So if I repeat myself, I'm sorry. But I looked at the parts machine last week and seen that I wasn't sure if it was a roll pin or a bolt that was supposed to be in here. Now in that one, in the parts one, half of it was gone. And there was a stub kind of stuck in there. I couldn't tell if it was a roll pin or uh, what it was. And it, well, I can't roll it now, but there's a roll pin in this one. So I assumed it was a roll pin in here. Uh, it was not. I don't know if that's what's supposed to be in there, um, but I pounded this out of it. Finally found, I could not find, let me get a rag here. Um, I couldn't find the part where the bolt would have been sheared off because it was sheared off on both sides. And I, I mean, get a light in there as much as I could on you know it's so tight against the sprocket here and I don't know if you can tell how but it's like way down in there um so it actually took me a little while to figure out where the busted piece was so I could pound it you know get something long and pound it through all the way out and I'm sure there's a joke in there so I cleaned it off, you can see. Uh, I'm not sure that this is a shear bolt. It might be. I have shear bolts, but they're too big for this. And uh, so I'll have to get the proper ones depending on what I do with this machine. But uh, let's throw that away now. Um, it should work now though. So I did put Andy C's on the shaft over here. So I can put the wheel back on and it won't ever seize. So get that on. Forget how many weeks now it's been since I put air in this tire been at least a month and they're still both pumped up all the way as far as I can tell and then I'm so confident I'm so confident that it's gonna work here's the cover I, I pulled this cover off the uh, the parts machine this one did not have one and I'm assuming it there wasn't one on here just for the reason that I just fixed it I'm assuming that part I just fixed you know with that shear bolt is probably what kept somebody from uh, running this machine anymore now whether that person knew that it was that bolt I don't know you know I can't even remember. I think I remember who I got this from, but that's who I'm thinking of. They probably didn't have the machine long. <clears throat> so, I don't, not, I don't even, I'm in the tent. I don't even have the heater on. I just wanted to attack this thing real quick so I could finish out the video. And <clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna put the cotter pin back in this wheel and uh, get it outside and fire it up.
Okay, guys. It's <laughs> it's a little colder now than it was last time we fired it up. So we'll see what happens, huh? We'll just try the choke before we do the primer thing. See that there's a breather in there the crankcase breather what that is is water vapor um, can't remember if I'm gonna show that or not when I drained the oil there was water in the oil of course I did change the oil you know put fresh stuff in <clears throat> now with all the jostling there's probably more water in there and that's what that is is water vapor coming out so needs to be ran more and the oil changed now, <laughs> I guess I didn't realize this. Because it's a one belt system, you gotta have the clutch. It says clutch. I just, I guess I just assumed that that was for the um, auger. But this is for the whole system. Drive and everything. But, what we do have a problem with, you can see I got it in reverse here. And uh, it's actually, that's neutral. So it's out of a line or out of adjustment quite a bit. So we're gonna have to get it back up in the air and figure that out. But at least everything works now, except the lights. Now I did off camera. I did put a test light in here and it is kicking out power so um, I mean there's probably a ground issue too you know that doesn't look very good the janky wiring this one doesn't even feel right anyway so I have to deal with that see if the lights will come on so we got a little bit to do yet and uh, I am done now it's night time and it's starting to get really cold so with that guys uh i'll be back all right guys so <clears throat> i adjusted uh it to go in reverse on this side of that friction wheel it's this is reverse and the rest on this side is the forward gears in the center is neutral so I lubed up everything, and uh, this is pretty much adjusted all the way down to get it as far in reverse as I can get. 
that's as far as it'll go. Which should be enough. Oh, can't see. Which should be enough. And then another problem I was having is the uh, this handle when it was in reverse was sticking in a neutral position because when it's in neutral it sits like this and when it sits like that it pulls that uh, friction wheel up so like right now it's no no it's not in neutral anyway when it's stuck like that then it's stuck up like this ah we gonna need two hands here hang on all right, so right now it's in reverse and everything's still kind of a little sticky, but right here is neutral. And then you can see this, this handle stays up like this. Now I'm gonna lower you, bring you over. Now this, Friction wheel, yep. Yeah. Okay, so we're freewheeling right now. Um, I've got every possible point lubed up on here. I got to go back in and, and wipe down the this part here. I can get it to turn. It's got new on it, so. And wipe that down. I should rub some uh, sandpaper and stuff on here too if I can get at it. And uh, all that jazz. So, all right, guys, how many times we started this thing, huh? So, once we see it move and all that, <clears throat> I'm going to, I'm going to plug a, a test light into here and uh, see what works and what don't. The other one, the parts machine, has a whole complete plug and wiring and everything, which I'll probably use at some point. Right now, I just uh, want to see what's going on here. I don't even know whether our alternator works. Um, So anyway, I think we're ready to go. Okay, both outlets work for the power and boy did you see that thing light up wow it's bright so uh, there's a third one out of here and I'm assuming that's a ground and they run the ground well look at there so they ran the ground over here so I think I'm just gonna I suppose that won't reach now will it 
Maybe it will if I go over. Well, she'll just make it. I'm going to put new ends on here too. So. All right. Hang on. All right, guys. So. Oh, geez. It's probably been a couple hours at least. I've been playing around with these lights. And uh, this whole thing, I'm sorry, this whole deal is off the other, the parts machine. And the reason I put this one on here is because it's in, it's like, it's brighter. It's in better shape than the other one over there. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. But that way I got to use the plug. And actually this is where the, even though there's a third outlet there with a prong in it. Um, that is where it's supposed to go. So, but none of these lights, I couldn't get any of them to work. Not with it running. I just kind of put a battery to them and see if they would work. And I couldn't get any, all of the four working, but I don't know. Maybe it'll work when they're running, but I don't know. This one's cracked. <clears throat> that one's cracked. So, if you can see here, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Sorry. All right. And see I don't know if you can tell the difference in the color and this one the bottom one I'm holding on to is a lot more scratched up and then the, the sticker even though the one on the good one is crooked <laughs> for some reason um, the original one is just pretty damaged so I'm gonna set that aside for now so anyway I mean yeah it's it's got its dings and stuff like that, but uh, it is it is in a lot better shape. And then the, the chute on the other one is just a brilliant orange like that. And at some point I'm going to switch them out, but, or, you know, the chutes. But this is problematic right, off the, right out of the gate. I don't know if you guys can tell, but, I mean, if you're blowing snow that way, it's just going to run right into the lights. When you're going this way, you're going to have to have it straight up in the air all the time. I don't even know if this works. I'm going to get you in the holder here. Hang on. All right, let's see if... Oh, boy, she's a stiff one. All right, well, I have to work on that. Because it won't come loose, and that way I can't adjust the angle of it but I'll have to work on that and I'll have to move this up it goes all the way that way pretty much stops right there you see a lot of flux going on too so I think we just need to lube it up and uh, I'll be okay but what what I'm doing now is bring it over here well let's look at this side first you can see right there there's usually shoes that these machines skid on and uh, but this one has a wheel a metal wheel that it rolls on so they were really they were at the highest adjustment and I you know there was about a inch or more gap underneath so what I'm going to do is or what I did on this side this one's got a lot of dirt on it this one's black so I think this one's been replaced you know sometime probably in 1979 <laughs> um, it's just as round as the other one is down there but what I'm going to do is put a little grease on here and then 
get it installed over here. So, give me one sec. I'm just going to throw a little grease on here. I already did the other side, so I knew which one it went into. There's, what is there, there's four different slots you can put the bolt in. This one's a lot harder to get at. Than that one. Hopefully I had the wrench going right. A lot of room to work with here. Okay, and then what I did is put the slide or the <laughs> The scraper bar, I put the scraper bar on this, just laid it on top of this kind of thick piece of metal here. So I get the proper height I wanted for it. So, well, down here and then you want to get with the auger where the auger rides on the top there see Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh it has to be in that position all the time. They should have made should have made this whole spout higher is what they should have done. And they didn't do that, so well let's fire it up one last time. Oh I got one one more thing to do here. Hang on. All right, guys, so I was going to put a brand new muffler on it. And uh, the bottom bolt came out just fine. I was going to get this off before I turn the camera on because 
first of all, I wanted to make sure it was even going to come off. This top bolt would come quarter of the way out, and uh, it would just dead stop. So I'd work it back and forth, work it back and forth, and it just seemed like it was getting worse. So I just put it back in all the way before uh, it snapped. So I'll have to, if I choose to redo this whole thing, which I would really like to do, but we'll see. It would take a lot of work, I think. A lot of time, too, which I don't have. But it is a neat machine. It really is. So let's fire it up one last time. Well, it worked for a little while, I guess. Uh, mm. You know, I guess I'll have to order some or something. I don't know. I might have some other ones laying around here, but most of the time you come across those lights and they're cracked or busted all together or whatever. So, anyway, it's a pretty cool machine. So, next time you see it, We'll probably be trying it out in the snow. And uh, this is good when you got really big drifts like I had a few years ago. That three stage. But yeah, this would be a good one for resto. Because it's not rusted through anywhere. It's just all surface rust. And it really needs a lot of clean. Of course, all the chrome's off the handlebars you'd have to repaint those um, otherwise in really good shape all right guys we got a, the supposed big storm yesterday I don't know what we got here it's hard to tell because it drifts out here so much uh, right at the edge there you can see it's only about I don't know three inches maybe but it's other places, you know, it's it's a foot, and other places it's nothing, so it's hard to tell out here in the windy country. But we're going to give this thing a shot. It hasn't been running since the last video, which was probably, what, two weeks ago now? Since I got done filming the last one that you guys seen. And this one, this video probably won't. Part three probably won't go up till the end of this week. So anyway, it's like December, I don't know what it is, 11th, something like that. So I just put a little more gas in it. Give her some throttle. Put it on choke. Not sure if I'm going to need the primer yet or not. Oh yeah, I got to turn the gas on.
wanting to pop out of gear. <laughs> We're into high gear, too. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Thing's a death machine. <clears throat> it uh through the vibration, this thing always it wants to go always in up and high gear. It doesn't want to stay in uh low gear or anything. So hang on a sec. <sighs> okay. Had to get the gas off. It's dumping gas everywhere. Uh, that's probably why it was running terrible at the end there when I idled down. So I really would like to get a needle, new needle and uh, maybe a float and all that. Maybe a whole rebuild kit if I can get one for this old bugger. But uh, it works. Actually, it works pretty good too. So, it doesn't throw it real far, you know. None of those old dogs ever did, I don't think, except the simplicities. So, all right, guys. So, I just kind of want to take some time and wrap this up for you guys. So, I didn't fix this thing up to sell it or, you know, because that's usually what I do. I fix things up to sell them, but... I didn't do that with this. I just kind of thought it would make a great video, you know, bringing this thing, hauling it out of the barn and and uh, making a video about getting it working again, which I think we accomplished that. Um, however, with that said, you know, there's still a couple issues mechanically. The carb all of a sudden which it didn't do before, but it is now. It's just leaking gas all over the place, so I gotta keep the gas shut off. Um, it could be, if you guys remember, in, when I was doing the carb, there was a little spring in there, and I think that might have something to do with it. Um, not sure, or I would really like to get a carb rebuild kit for it, if I can find one. And, uh, you know, I really would like to bring this thing back to its, somewhat to its original glory, you know, give it a paint job, because there is no serious rust on here. I mean, it's probably pitted here and there, especially, you know, up in here. And of course the handlebars, they used to be, handlebars used to be chrome, and now they are just rust. You can still kind of see a little bit of chrome in there. So it, it wouldn't be totally factory because I would just, you know, sand it all, sand down the handlebars and just paint them probably black or something. Um, or maybe silver, I don't know. And I would take, I think, 
I mean, it wasn't running great when I was using it in the snow, and I think that's because the, the needle wasn't working right. It wouldn't even idle down very good at the end there, which you guys know it did before. So I think that's part of it. Plus, I think the Governor Springs, you know, um, I can't really see them, but the springs, I think, are weak. I mean, it would just need to be gone through. The head would have to come off, check out the valves, and, you know, go through all that, the gappings and all that. So I would like to do that. Or if I could find somebody that wanted to do it, you know, I'd probably just give this to, the, to them. I was going to go to the auto parts store and see if I can find headlights for it, too. I mean, it is a... It's a neat little machine, you know. And, you know, really, because the height, you know, the chute pretty much hits this thing when you're going forward, so. I'd almost like to lengthen the chute, you know. Make it shoot higher. And, uh. Stuff like that. So it's not perfect anyway about it. I just wanted to bring you guys along, make some videos about bringing this thing back to the point where it's usable again. And, uh, well, we kind of made it and kind of failed, but I just a little more work on that car, but I think it'd be, it'd work just fine. I still need to get a cover for this because when snow's blowing around, it can go right into the carb. So there's that. But, I don't know. I consider it a success. I hope you do too. And, uh, hey, thanks for joining me on this. I, I think it was fun. I hope you did too. And uh, if you like what you see, subscribe. And uh, hit the like button. And, of course, leave me a comment because I do love the comments. Uh, at least most of them. <laughs> and uh, we'll catch you later, guys. Thanks. Bye.